Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 59 of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, we had just came back to Camp McCarran to drop off, well, to finish up the uh, little mission we had. Keely just called in. Angela first. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping <laughs> her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. I have some questions. Of course. Anything. Can you tell me anything else about Keely? Keely's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Fair enough. Exactly how old is she? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Somewhere in that ballpark, I think. How do Keely and Hildern get along? Like a Brahmin and a Deathclaw, though oh, I'm not geez. sure which would be which. Bad analogy, maybe. They're both Deathclaws in their way. Mm -hmm. Keely hates Hildern. She says he's more politician than scientist, and gets in the way Recommend of true discovery. Sorry. And Hildern hates mm -hmm. Keeley because... Well, because every time they meet, she makes him look like an ass. In front of important people, usually. <laughs> Good. That's my girl. Uh, Hildern mentioned the followers of the apocalypse. I don't remember when he did, but he My did. father used to say good things about them, but that was years ago. Back when they teach farmers and ranchers about crop rotation and the like. Mm-hmm. Nowadays, they've changed. They're doing what they can to discredit the NCR. Give us a bad name with the locals. Dr. Hildern trained with them years ago. Not me, though. I'm an OSI girl. All right. Well, I wonder why they're doing that. I hear the food around here is pretty bad. It's foul, to tell the truth. Most people try to get what they can from the outside. Even if it's just a smuggled candy bar now and then. Yeah, Contreras is a genius. He can find almost anything you'd want. Takes caps to get him motivated, though. He won't do a thing for free. Contreras, that's your quartermaster, I assume. I need to talk to him. Right. Stay safe. Will do. Now to talk to Hildern. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. Pleasant. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. That's a name. <laughs> that's a name for it, I guess. Pleasant. I brought the data from Vault 22. Wonderful. Excellent work. Let me see it. It'll take a moment to decode on my terminal. By the way, that vault was just as dangerous as Williams thought. I don't see how that's relevant. The dangers of the vault were your business, not mine. The only question is whether the data is still intact. I think Williams' decryption algorithms seem to be working. Yes, here it is. The data is mostly uncorrupted. This will make the board of directors finally sit up and take notice. Here then, as promised, an agreeable sum payable upon delivery of the data. You've more than done your part. I agree. I've more than done my part. You owe me more caps. You want to renegotiate your contract? Hmm. This is a very serious matter. You do understand that, don't you? I realize that one's word counts for a little in the wasteland, but amongst civilized people, one doesn't just demand more than one has agreed to. Hmm. All right, then I'll sell this data to some other interested party. Now, wait a minute. And make sure you have some healthy competition. There's... There's no need to do anything rash. Naturally, OSI would be willing to negotiate for exclusive rights to that data. Here, take these caps. That's all of my contracting budget, and it's yours. Hey, don't you now, forget it. Now, I've got to get back to work. I'm sure you understand. Exit's over there. You can show yourself out. I don't care what the NCR do with it as long as they're, you know... If they're able to make it work, then more power to them. I am overweight. I don't know how I got overweight, but hey, it works. Uh, hmm. I think I'm gonna use a knife for that. There we go. There we go. All better now. <clears throat> Excuse me. My throat was doing a little weird thing. They're 
quartermaster is all the way in the back, isn't he? I think he is. Yeah, we gotta go all the way around here through the concourse. But, you know, it's not that long a trip. So, hey, it's all good. The Camp McCarran Concourse. Seriously, if Hildern fucks up that whole thing, it's on him. I don't give a fuck after that point. But, hopefully he's able to make it work. It'd be nice. Now we go down this way, I think. And then we'll be able to talk to Contreras. Uh, my stomach's doing a bit of a thing. <laughs> there he is, the supply shack. Really? Is that what you call it? There he is. Contreras. You son of a bitch. Hey, you look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Got anything for sale? Take your pick. Alright. Wow, he has a lot of those. So much for them being rare. Holy shit. Um. Well then. <laughs> see if we can uh, make up the difference a little bit. Let's see what else he's got, though. Uh, that's one Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Star Bottle Cap. I don't know what happened with my mouth there. Uh, let's see. Um, hmm. Let's just take a look at... Is that minus two strength when I cook it it gives me two strength extra that's weird uh, I'll sell those because why not they're pretty high up in value um, sell those mm, frag grenades sell all of those hmm I could swear I had more stuff to sell. Yeah, they're there. Okay. And a lot more further down, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, super stim pack. I need that. Uh, hmm. Vodka. There's scotch. I could have sworn I had some scotch. Yeah, I did. Cool. Sell all of that. And wine, cool beans. Pleasure doing business with you. Later. Yeah, I'm going to see. Oh, I'm over encumbered entirely. God damn. <laughs> okay. Let's drag my ass over here. Uh, weapon repair kit. Cool. And I could have sworn I could make more of those. God damn it. Now we'll talk to him again. Jeez, so you're back. I am so heavy right now. Um, it's supposed to be an ammo, right? Yeah. That'd be microfusion cells. I could have sworn I could make more of those. Give me a shout if you need anything else. I, I don't want to do this one, though. Are you implying I have some kind of secret under-the-table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble. Uh, I can be pretty resourceful. Perhaps we could work out a deal. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory Sir talks for people a lot. I can trust. Yep, that's me. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard-pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. Sounds good to me. What do you need done? Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. <laughs> well, yeah. I can hear the MPs now. <clears throat> Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the gun runners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. I'll do it. Great. Let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here, up past the sharecroppers. All right. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> so, what? How? Oh, I'm way... <laughs> There's no way in hell I'd be able to carry all of that. Um, 
Oh, balls. Compare that with that. Get at least some done. Hmm. Well, that's a, a thing. Um. Yeah, Brahmin steak. There we go. And some whiskey, maybe. Yep, that's the most I'm gonna get out of it. And I'm a dehydrated. Great. There we go. Um. Let's see if we can drop a lot of the ammo we just picked up. Because this is mainly where the uh, whole issue is. That's not what I meant to do, goddammit. I meant to pick it up. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, yeah, drop all of that. There we go. Okay. Then I just need to walk around quickly like that. Until I can drop it off at a spot, I can just move it all quickly. Okay, just keep doing that. Oh, that's a little less than what I wanted to move, but hey, it works. And my HP is all the way up, so there's that at least. Go ahead ourselves up here. I'll just drop them and then pick them back up every once in a while. I like the uh, fact that the packaging has a skull on it. That's pretty cool. Like, they know this is one of the best rounds uh, available. Okay. Just head out to the terminal. There we go. Okay. I had a lot more caps than I thought I did. And... Yeah, we'll do that. Drop all of those. Pick them up. And there we go. Now we have a pretty good stockpile of these rounds. For when I eventually get a gun that uses... Well, I have two... Yeah, I'll have two guns at that time. Uh, whoop, where'd it go? Wait, what? What just happened? Okay. It just phased out. Okay. Uh, it'll be Little Devil, which will be a very good gun to be holding on to. It'll eventually replace all the guns I have, but it requires a lot of caps to get. Uh, I probably should have not bought this many rounds for it. <laughs> uh, I could have probably bought it right then instead of wasting all the caps on that well maybe not I did not have so many caps that I could easily do that but maybe uh, drop yeah there we go uh, you guys might be wondering why I keep doing that it's mainly because I want a base a baseline of how many rounds I'm going to be carrying on me. Uh, and then this will be what I'm keeping uh, hidden in my apartment in Novak. Which will be a hell of a time to get to. With all of this. But, you know, I'll make it work. I'll show you the little trick I was doing to uh, <clears throat> move all my stuff from gun runners onto... Well, there. Geez, that little stop it does always just freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure gun runners is which way? Um shit. Where is gun runners? Uh way far north. I mean I can make it. But did not expect that. Okay, so we'll go around this way a little bit, and we'll see if there's any fiends or whatnot along the way. Okay. 
God, I love the design on the box, though. And I keep outrunning it a little bit. Which is weird to me. But eh. Eh, the uh, strength boost from the... Uh, but the, the, the Brahmin stake ran out. Boop. Okay. There we go. It, it keeps getting closer and closer to my face. And I have to, like, stop and let it zoom back forward again. I wonder where that those bells and rings are coming from. Probably from inside Vegas. Up uh, there we go. Jeez, it is really getting close to my face a lot quicker. And there's gun runners right over there. Okay. Now it'll be a little bit of a thing. Uh, I thought that was the guy I was supposed to talk to. Uh, I was about to drop these things and be like, wait, I need to talk to you. Come back. Uh, there we go. That's a, uh, that's a guard. So, no, he's not over here for some reason. Weirdly enough. I'm gonna see if I can do something with uh, a couple of the rounds that I got. Uh, break down these. Weird. I could have sworn I had more to do that with. Yeah, there's that. Uh, make some 45 rounds. I can make some of these up too, even though I don't really need them. Yeah, we'll call that good for now. And drop that. And what I think we'll be doing is, yeah, all of that. I'll head back to the house. The apartment, really. Uh, Novak over here. And then I drop all the stuff that I don't really need back at the house. <laughs> and there's a lot of it, apparently. I've been carrying a lot more than I should. I need to deal with uh, Boone's thing real soon, I think. And, yep, my motel room. And let's see what else I can drop. This will be a bit of a thing. Be right back. Alright, I am back. And I'm going to zoom back to Gunrunners real quick. See how many of those I can carry before I start doing anything else. Because it'll be difficult. <laughs> I'm very much assured of that. Uh, let's see. Can I carry all of them? Over encumbered. How much so? Not that bad, actually. Um, I could probably get away with doing a, I don't know, see what will boost my strength up only slightly. Buff out. Uh, could do that. Hmm. Or I could do that, too. That would work too. Um, let's just do a whiskey for right now. And I'll just immediately go back to Novak. And we'll do that all over again. And turns out a lot of my weight was ammunition. Uh, until I do the swap over to having the Little Devil and the Survivalist Rifle on me at all times. For the time being, it's going to be not great. <laughs> I'm going to be low on a lot of ammunition. Uh, probably around 300 to 400 for each weapon. Uh, I mean, it's not really that much of a problem for 
the trail carbine because I don't really have that many rounds of what I'm going to be using for that to begin with. But for things like this and this, when I have a lot of ammunition for, it's going to be a little difficult. A little bit. Uh, which is foreign to me because I'm used to having a lot of ammunition just to waste in general. So it's a uh, little hard on me a bit. Uh, yeah, that'll be good. Um, those I'm going to be breaking down. Uh, whoop, that's what I meant to do. And I want to see what ammunition and whatnot I can swap over to here. Um, yeah, it's going to be a thing. I'll just do it in in between episodes. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community and we can talk about strategies for this sort of situation, whatever. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only Stray Cat playing games for you.